Hi everyone. So, um, some of you will have seen my video uh, of yesterday or the day before, um, sort of describing how I'd increased the height of my end fed wire for top band and 80 meters by several meters again uh, at the end, <coughs> or the front end of the antenna, and where it enters the house. <coughs> so, what I've been doing today is actually improving the earth or the RF earth system. So the thing with this antenna is that it's it's been performing superbly on top band and very, very well on 80 meters. But my signal uh, on top band is nearly always reported as stronger than on 80. And the only difference really is that on in terms of radials, ground plane radials, I've got 25 in bunches of five under the lawn uh, that are five meters in length. And then I've got, I had three quarter wave radials at, for top band, so about 40 meters. So what I've done is I've added two more quarter wave radials for 80 meters. So they're basically 20 meters long. And one basically runs down the garden uh, in that direction. And then the other uh, basically runs up the side of the house and out just past the front, the gate. Uh, so they're 180 degrees apart. And, um, and so what I'm hoping is that that might improve the uh, performance of this antenna uh, on 80 meters. A couple of other improvements. Uh, I, I was actually used, I, although these, the, the, the 25, five meter radials are clamped to my earth rod i'd used tape i'd actually taped the uh and my ground actually to the back of the atu is clamped the uh the three uh top band quarter wave radials i'd actually taped well i'd actually attached them mechanically attached them by sort of twisting them on and then tape them down so uh, what i've actually done is I've, I've soldered all five top band and 80 meter quarter wave radials together and I've clamped them to the rod now with a Jubilee clip. So that hopefully should be a lot better. And what I've also done is obviously, well, these radials were put down earlier in the summer and uh, they still actually look in pretty good nick. Um, but what I'm using my um, Iroda butane uh, soldering iron, I managed to get enough heat in there. And I've basically, I did tin all the separate uh, conductors but I've basically run solder across all of them again and effectively sort of attach them together uh, with a big lump of solder which you can probably see through there so uh, it's not exactly a neat job but I think it'll be effective so I'm hoping that I have improved my uh, ground plane my earthing system basically for this end fed wire um, so I now have a total of 30 radials 25 at 5 meters 3 uh, quarter wave for top band and two quarter wave for 80 meters. I would have put a third in, but I actually ran out of. Uh, I've got, I haven't got enough wire to do that left. So, um, so. Um, but anyway, hopefully um, that will improve matters. Um, what I've done since doing that is I've gone into the shack and I've just check the match on top band and 80, which I wasn't expecting to change very much and it hasn't really changed at all. Um, but as with all changes with antennas, it's better to make one change at a time. I'm probably making this change a little bit early really because I, this is only a day or two after I'd increased the height. But increasing the height certainly won't do any harm and adding two extra radials certainly won't do any harm. I mean, they're my, some of my friends at um, Harwell ARS, it's kind of a part-time hobby of theirs. Whenever they're kind of short something to do, they, they just put some more radials on their antenna. And it, you know, it is a case of ever diminishing returns uh, when you do that, because the more radials you put on, uh, the less of an effect overall it's gonna have on the antenna. But um, it's, like I said, it doesn't do any harm. So um, you might as well do it. And, um, and so there you go. Time will tell 
uh, with regard to the overall uh, effect to performance that these changes uh, uh, will have, but uh, that's fine by me. So uh, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, it's nearly the weekend, so uh, there'll be another weekend in the shack uh, video, of course. Um, and uh, I hope you find it uh, enjoyable. Um, last weekend's video actually was very popular. It had about over 700 views um, by the end of the weekend, but I think that had something to do with this little device here. So, um, but I'll be saying that there's a bit more to say on that as well, actually, tomorrow. So uh, I'll, I'll do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if in any doubt, Build your own antenna. If you've got enough space, do it. I mean, as I keep saying, you know, four pound fifty, well spent in, as far as I can see. Um, if you, well, on the basis that I, ha I had all the other parts for it anyway, and um, uh, there's a lot of satisfaction to be gained in uh, using something that that was basically so cheap that you built yourself, and uh, and you can, and as a project, you can keep improving it. So, so it's all good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, 7-3.